and you yell and stomp and scream the way Mike Stoops has. When you're problem. winning, they say he's a fiery competitor. When you lose, it's a problem. And um, we have we have a knucklehead on the field. That's causing the delay. We're not going to show it. The knucklehead. Jack Foyer. But if he's going now, we've got some of the players who are mixing it up, and this has a potential to get ugly. Some players are on the field fighting, and the benches are emptying. Mayhem is broken out here at the end of the first half. There's some knucklehead ran from the stands who distracted the officials. Some of the players waiting to line up for the final play of the first half got together. UCLA understandably frustrated with the emotions boiling over. And now as this has moved toward the end zone to our right, the sides appear to have been separated. That is not the way you want emotion to exemplify itself. However, the frustrated Arizona fans are cheering it. The coaches, meanwhile, are getting in the face of the players. Most notably, number two, Marquise Flowers. And there were several guys involved in the officials. The crew led by Jack Foley will have to sort this out. There's going to be some personal fouls handed out. I'll tell you what, if I'm Tim Kish, I'm losing it right now because you have to understand the consequences if someone's landed a punch and was caught, whether that's tonight at the game or when the Pac-12 or NCAA reviews it, they get tossed mm -hmm. for later games. You can't afford that because here's Arizona in a position. If they go 5-1 in the next six games, they're going to a bowl game. And all is well here in Tucson. But it's going to be that much harder winning those games if you got players that are ejected. you got to keep your cool here. Now let's look at this from the other side, too, guys. You see, there's heat on Rick Neuheisel as well. And when you have an incident like that, unfortunately the order was restored, combined with the way UCLA is playing, it's only going to ratchet up the intensity and the speculation about the direction of the UCLA program. We're just being honest about that. Well, we are, and it, and it is the truth. And that right there, there was a big distraction on the field by someone who had run on, dressed up as an official. That's not good. After the play... Personal fouls on both teams. Number five for Arizona. Number five for Arizona. Ejection. That's to kill Richardson. 82 for UCLA. Personal foul. UCLA. Ejection. That's Taylor Embry, the senior wide receiver. Clock operator, please reset the clock to four seconds. Four seconds. You know what, Reese, I think they're lucky there are only a couple that have been ejected in this thing because there are a lot more bodies doing things above and beyond pushing out there. You can see Foyer to realize late what was going on there. You saw the punch from Embry, so he was rightfully ejected from the game. And then the mayhem spread a little bit. Hard to see that. I don't know if he actually would call it a punch, but Cassius Marsh, number three, as you see him to the far right of the screen, he was getting in there. That's Muhammad Usman from Arizona. Mike Harris standing him up, making sure things didn't escalate, but you got a little pushing and shoving, but I tell you, the officials, especially when you consider the benches cleared, the officials did a great job of spreading out, and the coaches did too on both sides. Look at all the UCLA coaches yeah. out there. They did a really good job. See, there's the distraction with this with the student or person that has the Official officials the uniform on, and he's losing gear. And during that time, all of this talk is going over in this huddle here. So it was distracted to the from the officials. You should have separated them. And there, well, there's is the first push. There's, Sha there's Shaquille Richardson kind of in the middle of all that. Getting pushed. You can't see there if he, in fact, throws a punch or not. But, guys, Shaquille Richardson, best cornerback for Arizona now the past couple weeks. If there's further punishment, he has to miss any games. This defense cannot afford that. He's got to be smarter. He's only a sophomore. I get it. he got to play smart. Reese, we were talking about this at lunch today. William Golston not playing for Michigan State. Right. And that the he conference hands foul. down personal foul. I like the fact that in, in this game, the officials determined that there was an infraction severe enough to get rid of the player. Yeah, get it out of the way, yeah. right? So, you know, it's over with, it's gone, the guy's gone from this game. 
and hopefully that's sufficient to prohibit a, a, a suspension down the road. To be determined. 